So as a human being, you have the capacity to live as peace within all your experiences, with all your thoughts, all your emotions. The capacity to live as peace is there. Maybe you don't believe it right now, but this is the truth. So feeling anger, feeling jealousy, hatred, desire, all of this, the capacity to live as peace in that and as that experience is completely available to you right now. And that is radical. I didn't know that was possible before I met this training, for sure. I thought that I could live peacefully and have a content life if I changed that experience of anger, hatred, jealousy, all of these negative experiences. If I could change it, okay, then peace. So in this training, we really provide a solution for you to discover this possibility and this capacity as a human being. This is your birthright. It is so important for us to recognize this for ourselves. So now we cut the roots of all ideas about peace and start to experience it for ourselves instead. That is how powerful this training is. And I'm just saying this with such conviction because I've seen it in my own experience and every day more and more. So to introduce you to that possibility, you can stop your train of thoughts right now and see that there is something about you that is completely aware. It's completely there. It is what's looking through your eyes right now with no descriptions needed. Just like a child watching itself in the mirror. And then again, watching itself as an 80 year old woman or man. Some appear appearances changed, but what's looking the capacity to just look rea in reality as it is, in the mirror as it is, never changed. That capacity never changed. That's your fundamental nature. And you deserve to live from that always. So we are just so lucky that we have an education that supports you to discover this for yourself in your life. And this fundamental nature, this what's looking, that which never changes, we call open intelligence in this training. So we all can familiarize us, ourselves, with that experience together. And the instruction we give for you to recognize this is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So if you don't remember anything else from this meeting, just remember this instruction, try it, test it, come back tomorrow and share with us how that, <coughs> you know, is for you. Whatever is going on for you is secondary in your life. What's primary is do I want to use what's going on with me right now as an opportunity to take a short moment and recognize that there is something peaceful and stable that can just perceive it just as it is, Reca regardless of which description you are tempted to put on it. Totally regardless. And um, there is just so many things that happens in life, isn't it? It's completely unpredictable. It's completely unpredictable. But by applying this one single instruction, I've come to see that very gradually, 
I have no fear while feeling fear because I am not afraid of feeling fear anymore. So that's this big shift. I found a new way to live with my thoughts and emotions. So, so none of it changed. <laughs> it's completely the same that I'm enjoying it. I can sit here today and say I didn't want to change any of my thoughts and emotions. They are fine. <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's okay because I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. I am not interested anymore to see any of my experiences as something to limit me, but something to empower me. And very gradually, when we, when we test these short moments in our daily life, we come to see that all of our experiences, that in this training we just call it data, it's not interesting to describe it even. It's normal for a human being, it's very natural for a human being to have very spontaneous thoughts and emotions, ideas, belief systems running through. There is no need to make a big deal out of that anymore, to always describe the content of the mind. You know, we have two options. We can continue to describe all of this, or we can just let it flow on by. So when we start to do this more and more, we discover that all experiences, all these data are inseparable from open intelligence. It is open intelligence expressing itself, you expressing yourself completely naturally. Finally, you can be natural. Finally, you can just be as you are. And you know, blame is a good one. And it's a good one to see because it's very comfortable to hide behind blame. Someone to blame, something to blame. <laughs> can you recognize that in your life? I mean, that's so beautiful when we start to just see this so clearly, this, this pure honesty with ourself. That's the power. It's not to, to never ever feel blame again, but it's just that raw honesty, to just see reality as it is. And now I know I have a choice. I can feel the blame completely inside all the thoughts, all, everything with it, and still get on with what I am doing. And that's that's just where we see how powerful we are as human beings, that it's really, really secondary what we think and feel. I wish I, someone told me that when I were born, go and enjoy life as it is and what you think and feel about it is secondary. You can just relax body and mind in short moments and learn to live and meet life as it is. That's what I want every child to know every human being to know. It's always been as it is. We could never change that anyway. So it's a gift to see that all of this is just completely inseparable. All that you think and feel completely inseparable from open intelligence just like the reflections in the crystal ball. It's just so nice to watch a crystal ball that is just reflecting reality as it is, because there you have a direct introduction to your own mind, to the possibility of your own mind, to reflect what you think and feel just for what it is, and not add any fantasies, any escapes from reality to it just as it is. You know, even if that can be hatred and anger, this is what's going on. If you feel angry right now and you raise your voice right now, nothing is wrong with that if you relax body and mind while raising your voice and while asking yourself, what is the most benefit here? Sometimes raising the voice is the most benefit. But we only know that 
when we start to just see that anger is pure benefit, anger is a resource to contribute to the world, but not if you use anger to defend yourself because you think there is something to defend, there's something you're afraid of, you know, when we got, get lost in all the descriptions. But when we just clearly see what is the most benefit, sometimes, you know, anger becomes wrath. It's a direct and very powerful contribution. And I can only share in my own life that that was very often very painful because I was afraid of anger. I wanted to look nice, be nice, good girl. I didn't want to show anger for a second. And it's, it was a hard job to really always keep this down. And I did it because I was so afraid of people not loving me and liking me. <coughs> and it's been so powerful and empower me, empowering for me to see my strategies there. All these agendas based on fear. So this training has really showed me to, to love myself as I am. You know, everything comes from that. Not as a nice cliche to read in a book. I mean, truly love myself while hating myself. That's a treasure. And I have seen that this is not possible without training my mind. So what we provide here is an education. In an education where you train yourself to let everything be as it is. I mean, that is so radical. So everyone in Balanced View, they, we provide a trainer. You have a personal trainer. So you have a customized support. And we have standardized support through all of our trainings, online, face-to-face, -face, all over the world. So much to choose from. And, and that's how I started off five and a half years ago. I simply decided to participate in trainings and just to see my mind, to see what, what is really possible. And I saw that it was so tempting to not take short moments. It was so tempting just to run away from reality because it felt more comfortable. But with the support of my trainer, of the training, all the talks, all the media, gradually, just gradually, I started to feel more and more safe within my experience. Just that sense of safety and peace within my experience, as my daily life experience. And a, a very important mainstay, which is the, what we call our education, the four mainstays, is the community, all of you here right now radiating that possibility to live a life where you don't fear your experiences anymore. So it's beautiful to see how we inspire each other. And this is a radical global change we are contributing to. This, this we are doing together is to show a new way a new way to relate, a new way to create, a new way to find solutions together, not solutions for some, but solutions together for the benefit of all. And that's what every human being long for. We can be confused about that at some times, at least I have been, but this is what we all long for. And I'm so grateful that we have support to discover it together.